Hello guys, today I want to show you how we can style our file inputs using some custom CSS, JavaScript and also glyph icons from Bootstrap version 3. Let's get started. Okay, so first let's create new input. So we will use input tag and after this type attribute and assign value of file to it. And let's close the tag. Now we can save and refresh and we can see default uh, file input which is very ugly if we hover over this file input we don't have any indication we are hovering it only the border is blinking if we click it the many pop-ups where we can choose some files we want to upload for example this one and after choosing the file we have the name of the file styling file input itself is pretty hard so to make it look better we will use label tag to bind label with file input we have to use id attribute so let's type id and assign to it some name in my case it will be file dash input now let's create a new label. It doesn't matter. It will be above or under file input. Let's type it under the file input. So we use label tag. And after this, we have to use for attribute and assign to it the same value as the ID value. So it will be file dash input. And let's close the tag. So the value of the ID attribute must be exactly the same as the value of the for attribute. Let's type something between label tags because now it's empty. Let's say choose a file and three dots. Okay, so let's check how it looks now. Refresh and well, it still looks bad. But now if we click choose a file label, the menu appears too because we bound the file input with this label since label trigger exactly the same event as the file input we don't need to see it anymore so let's go and hide this ugly file input i have linked tidy sheets before you can see it in the line 8 so let's jump to this file and now we want to style the input and now let's use id selector and the id was file input i believe and now to hide it we want to use display property and set it to none let's save it refresh and as you can see the file input disappeared and if we click the choose a file, the menu opens up. So now let's style a little bit our label to make it look like a button. To select label, we will use our file input. So we type input, hash, file dash input. And now we will use plus operator and label. So this CSS selector will select all labels element that are placed immediately after our file input. Now we can style our label. So in the first place, we want to change the background color. So let's use background color property. And let's set it to something like this. So it will be blue. Now let's add some padding from all sides to make it look bigger. Let's say it will be 8 pixels. And let's change color to of font to white. Okay, and let's see the changes. We will also add border to our button. So let's use border property 
and it will be two pixel width solid and the color will be something like this so it will be lighter blue and also we will add border radius and let's set it to nine pixels let's save it refresh well it starts to look like a button also we will add some gap between the browser and the button so we will use the margin left property and set it to 20 pixel okay we still don't have any indication when we are hovering over our label so let's copy this selector over here paste it and after the label we type colon and hover by adding this hover rule we can style our label when user is hovering over it so when we hover over the label we want to change background color and let's set it to something like this also we want to change border color and set it to something like this and the last thing we want to change the cursor to pointer okay let's save it and test it out now as you can see when we hover over our label the cursor and the color of our button or label is changing and what is most important we can click our label and choose the file to make our label look more like a upload button we can use glyph icons from the bootstrap version 3 so to do it let's go back to the index.html over here in the label element before the choose a file text we can use itag which one stands for icon and we can use the class attribute and assign to it two classes from the glyph icons bootstrap free and it will be glyph icon and the second one will be glyph icon dash open after this let's use some html entity to make a space between the icon and the choose a file text let's save it refresh and as you can see our button looks like a real upload button right now last thing we are missing is the name of the file we have chosen and to display this information we will have to use some javascript first let's clear this mess over here to make it more readable something like this okay and now let's add some tags which one will be displaying the information about the chosen file so over here we will, we will display the chosen file is and we will add another span with id of file name and over here we will type none for default this part of information will be constant and this span with id of file name will be uploaded with the name of the file using javascript now let's check how it looks like refresh the site and as you can see here is our default message and if we choose a file the message is still the same and now to change it we have to use some javascript to use javascript in the html file we have to use script tags 
So let's go over here and we have to just type script and close the tag. Inside our script, we need two informations. First one is the file name and the second one is the element we want to upload with this name. First information about uploaded file we can get from the file input. So to get it, let's create new variable. For example, input file. And now we will have to use document object and call on it method get element by id. And as the argument, we have to pass the id of our file input and it will be file dash input. Second information is the field we want to upload. We want to upload our span with id file name. So we will do exactly the same. So we create new variable, let's say file name field. We use document object and we are calling method get element ID. And the argument will be ID of our span. So it will be file name. Finally, we have to add event listener to our file input. So we have to use our input file variable. And after this, using dot notation, we have to call add event listener method. And as the first argument of this method, we will pass event type and it will be change event. And the second argument of this method is function, which one will be fired when change event will happen. We also have to pass the event to this function, which one will have the information about the target. In our case, it will be file input. Now let's create new variable. Let's say uploaded file name. And now to get the name of the file, we have to use event object, which one have the target property and inside this target property we have the array of all uploaded files so we use the name of this array and between square brackets we pass the zero because we want the name of the first element and every element of this array has the name property which one holds the name of the file so now we have the name of the uploaded file inside uploaded file name variable. Now we have to change the text content of our span element with the name of our file. So we have to use the file name field variable, which one holds the reference to our span and to upload the content of this span we have to use text content property and assign to it value from uploaded file name variable so basically every time we upload some file we will also change the text of our span element let's go and test it out as you can see there is default message that there is no any file selected so let's go and upload one let's say this one and as you can see the name of the file has been uploaded if we change it to another file let's say this one the name of the file is also uploaded okay guys this is all for today Thank you for watching. I hope you now know how to style your upload buttons and see you next time in the next video.